Welcome to Profile Traders. This is Reza and you're listening to my market analysis for January the 27th and we are looking at a chart of the ES E-mini here. So yesterday when we looked at the chart we talked about a channel that was in place and uh, this morning when we came in ahead of the FOMC meeting there was a whole bunch of chop taking place without market really doing much but there was something very very revealing every big name from Apple to Google to Amazon to Netflix to Priceline all of them were big all day long and then all of a sudden out of nowhere we got this phony baloney rally that kicked in ahead of the FOMC and as soon as FOMC came out and they announced that there is no rate hike and matter of fact they are extremely concerned about the turmoil that is going on around the world and they are also very much so concerned about the slow of the growth of the economy then that whole gain fizzled down to the very very low of the day and now we are back to retesting this trend line as we did try to break it we did reject it back into it and now we are barely inside of it so there is no question that this was a very bearish reversal that took place why because a whole bunch of people that went long on the break above 1900 which I mentioned to you we have tested four times we could not break and I also believe that you were given 1910 as a level of resistance 1910 stopped the move to the tick and then this reversal with a close almost close to the low of the day is extremely damaging and I also warn you if we do break below 1874 and a quarter that there was a POC at 1867 which could be a downside target and that's exactly where it went and stopped so now we need to go up and find ourselves levels of resistance because the range is so wide it is foolish to give you levels of resistance that are too close to where price is right now therefore to me the very first significant level of resistance will come in at 1887 if we can break through 1887 next challenge to be to clear 1895 and if 1895 is cleared then of course 1900 and then 1910 on the way down obviously today's low will become significant level of support now which is also a round number 1865 we break 1865 as I told you yesterday I do not see much before we drop to 1850 and if we do drop below 1850 next level down is 1835 and then there is a POC at 1821 even so from this point on will be if we remain below 1887 we should see continuation down this market looks horribly horribly weak we are in this one of the strongest time of the year where the beginning of the year tons of money usually comes into position itself into the market too we are in the mix of one of the strongest earning season for all these companies and they are getting punished one after another after they release earnings and before they release earnings and no need to tell you that the condition of economies around the globe especially <clears throat> China and also now that 
terrible bad market or bad economy is spreading very fast into Latin America. So the whole situation, Europe, Asia, South America, everywhere you look at it, it's extremely, extremely weak. And be on the back of such a weakness, we are a market that we have a market that is very, 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 very far away from a, a, any significant correction based on these several years of move up that was only and only phony baloney Ben Bernanke quantitative easing money that fueled it. So if that money is gone out of the market because the Fed himself is the biggest and the most broken institution that there is out there. If the Fed was a private company, the Fed would be bankrupted and all the doors shut down tomorrow. But because it's the Fed, they can hide it. But trust me that the Fed is bankrupt. Bankrupt. Ben Bernanke bankrupted the Federal Reserve. No question about it. So if they cannot do this kind of manic quantitative easing that they did for this many years and there is a return back to normal valuation and consideration of the weakness of the economy, I can let you just see how much further down we can come if we are going to correct this whole leg of manipulated market we've seen during the several years up. So one must be very, very careful with these markets. Like I said, don't get fooled by this dead cat bounce. During, if you don't believe me, just go remind yourself of how things were shaping up during the dot com when people were buying 400 stocks at 300. They thought they, thought they were buying at a bargain. Three would become two, two become 100, 100 becomes 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 20, and then 20 finally would go to three dollars and they would all jump from the high rises in New York to kill themselves. So dead cat bounces are not to be trusted. Overall market condition is extraordinarily weak. Will this change? We shall see. But so far there is absolutely zero evidence of any kind of substantial strength into this market. Now let's go look at crude. I believe that a level was given at 32.50 to 32.75 and when we reached it, we dropped. If I tell you why today we rallied, you're going to go to the corner of your office, sit down and cry. The only reason, the only reason crude went up today, it's because Reuters wrote an article that the Russian China, uh, the, the Russian pipeline tycoon wants to contact OPEC and tell OPEC that we need to cut production in order to stabilize price. Based on that, from 30 and a half to almost 33 points rise. Only for that. Hey, Ahmed, Mahmoud. Hussein, let's talk. And price goes up three points. Stupidity, but that's how it is. But the only thing he doesn't know is that every single OPEC country except the Iranian mullahs, which were gifted 150 billion, they're all dying. They're all cash poor, including Saudi Arabia. So who's going to cut output? Nobody. They not only don't cut output, but they can sell as much as they can get their hands on on the black market for even half the price of what we are seeing here. So from a supply side, there is no cut in the horizon. And on the demand side, there is definitely a big problem with Massive amount of inventories built up today. Again, we got numbers. Inventories were accumulated 8 million barrels more. So we have to be very, very careful because we are now 
getting potentially close for a nasty little reversal down because even if I go look at my daily we have tried one two three four days in a row to push price above 33 and we cannot so it's a matter of time of how many times we're going to try to push it above 33 on very weak demand fail and continue to maintain price up here but in order to see a breakdown i will need to see price come and reject below 3140 if we can break below 3140 then i'm very confident that we are going to come down for a test of 3050 once 3050 breaks then the next level is $30 with a POC at $29.78 and then $29.22 next level down. Of course, on the upside, we have to look at today's high. Right between $32.75 to $33 is the next level of resistance and then $33.50. So it's going to be interesting to see how this market will evolve because uh, obviously this kind of rallies on rumors of talk between such and such and such and such is nothing but unsustained silliness. This was Reza with Profile Traders. If you wish to join our trading room and get all my five courses, you can do it from the website cost is 550 till february 11th and 30 days money back guarantee thank you and see you next time